friends, let us observe this totally unedited real-time surgery. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with BSS applying few drops of povidone iodine. The ocular surface has been prepared with povidone iodine in the preparation room. We have applied few drops of povidone iodine and kept it for 3 minutes. This is just a running wash. Now, the main incision has been made with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The antechamber is filled up with 2 percent hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now, a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now, we are going to do capsulorexis. Capsulorexis is being done with the help of a uterator forceps. The tip of the uterator forceps pierces the center of the pierces the anterior pole and a capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise to get an adequate size traxis. Now hydrodissection is being done with twenty seven gauze cannula. And now the nucleus is tapped. And now the antechamber is again filled up with visco. Now this is bimanual rotation of the lens. If we rotate the lens bimanually, the stress on the genule is less, much, much less. And now we are going to do direct chalk. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now hand the, the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. The nucleus is pushed little down. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and as it reaches near the opposite equator, the nucleus is separated. This is on hemineucleus, it is being divided into two pieces. And now I am emulsifying this piece. I am emulsifying this piece single handedly. When we uh, use, when we do single-handed FACO, the followability is much less. So, whenever we need more followability, just we can remove the chopper. Now, this is the last piece at this time. The epinucleus has been uh, removed from the piece and it has been, it is used to protect the posterior capsule. The nucleus is managed and now the chamber is filled up under filled with visco and this is just to maintain the anterior chamber when I am removing the cortex. If there is visco, the collapse of anterior chamber is not sudden. And the, as long as the visco remains, the antechamber is better maintained. Now I go through the side port and remove the cortex from the sub incisional area. Cortical cleanup has been done, and now we are going to implant a plate haptic intraocular lens from Jais known as Asfina in this case. Jais from Germany is an well known company and optics of Jais is uh, supposed to be very good. The main wound has been enlarged a bit and now this is the intraocular lens and this is the cartridge we are going to use. Uh, you can call it a butterfly cartridge. 
Now, as I place it on the injector, the plunger does not go uh, in the right path. So, we lift the uh, silicon plunger a bit and it goes into the passes. And now, the lens is injected, the leading haptics goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptics also go into the bag as we press the haptic optic junction by the chopper. And now, we are going to remove the visco that has been removed. Without visco also this lens may be implanted, but in this case I opted for implantation under visco. This depends on the intuition that comes to the mind at that moment and what the intuition says so for safe surgery, what the uh, intuition tells us to do a maneuver for safe surgery, I think we should listen to that. It may take a little longer time, maybe uh, a minute more, but we should listen to our intuition for the safety and better results of the patient. Irrigation and aspiration used together, all the viscoelastic substance have come out and this is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now I hydrate corneal stroma with uh, basis and this side port gets closed. And now I am going to do a final lavage of the anterior chamber and form the anterior chamber with visco. And now we check the integrity of the wounds, there should not be any leakage from any side. Some moxie is applied over the ocular surface the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and sub your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.